track, but radiation dangers, microwave radiation, cell phones, to have a discussion about all these computers and all these phones and it has a lot of great uses, but it's also changing our civilization and not for the better because all these Trojan horses are involved. Andrew, uh, talking to Drake and talking to uh, Benny and others where they've tried to indict them, tried to set them up, they have gone after other whistleblowers. I mean, you're supposed to be protected when you're exposing a crime and look at how Snowden has had to flee and been demonized. When they were lying before saying none of this was going on, why aren't they getting in trouble for committing the crimes? I, I don't know. It's a fine question. I think the you know, public needs to stand up and figure out what's going on and get people to... There are people that care in the government. I've met them. You know, they're, they call them future whistleblowers, call them whatever. Um, they do think this is a way out of control. That's uh, what's crazy is people in the federal government I meet are more awake than the general public. Right. And that they're worried because, you know, I had a conversation with uh, an agent in DHS and he said, at some point, I'm going to retire and I don't, do not want to retire into this world. Um, and he goes, I'm thinking about leaving the U.S. too. And I was like, wait, you're a federal agent. You spent your entire life doing this, and this is your concern. He's like, right, like, what's going on here? He's like, what's happening? You know, they're going to use all the power you give them, and then they're going to keep using power even if you don't give it to them until they're slapped down saying, you know, don't do that. That's bad. Exactly. And people, just like you couldn't get organic food 20 years ago, now it's displacing all the garbage at the shopping market, at the... Um at the grocery store, we voted with our dollars and it changed the paradigm. If we all start going and using Tor, if we all start, you know, getting rid of our cell phones or not taking them with us all the time or turning them off, if we all start researching the system, we could really change the paradigm. Right. I think that you look at where technology was 14, 20 years ago. Um, and how much improvements it's made and how much corporations have improved security over time. Because, you know, they have these incentives of it affects our revenues, it affects our company. Um, people are starting to starting to get that power and starting to understand why, why a company would do that and why they want personal security and why they want, you know, a phone that's secure and things like that. So I think it's, it's going to take time, but it's coming, you know, ask Look at what teenagers use today. You know, I do a, do a lot of work with teenagers, and they tell me the reason they choose, you know, various apps like Whisper and Snapchat and Secret and whatever else they use um, are because they advertise as secure, ephemeral things so that it's not on some permanent record. And, you know, you do dumb things as a teenager, which is when you're supposed to be doing it, and it comes and goes away. That's right. What do you think of Apple's new uh, claims that they're doing some things that make it harder for illegal surveillance to take place? I think it's a step in the right direction. I think that, you know, any company who wants to publicly come out and say they are paying attention to privacy, um, it may or may not have been related to the celebrity photo leaks that suddenly forced their hand. Um, but, you know, there'll be more just like this. I mean, just look at Home Depot and Target have had two of the largest credit card breaches ever. And maybe now, you know, after their stock or their revenues or something, take a hit. You know what Those I like? Cards. They don't get in my face now at Barnes & Noble and Target demanding I get one of their smart cards now. They, they've actually shut up about it because obviously everybody's blowing up at them saying, no, I don't want my data stolen. Right. And that, that concept right there has been years in the making and when the average person can say what are you doing with my data you know where do you store it how do you store it that's a far far better conversation than we've ever had in the past well andrew i hope you'll come back with us in the future uh it's lumen.is l-e-w-m-a-n.is and torproject.org look i'm not a techie but i'm learning slowly how it all works trying to understand and interviewing all the top experts here on a weekly basis and make a few easy decisions out there and protect yourself and your family. It's like locking your door at night. It's not that you're living in fear. It's just that that's an added measure of protection to lock your door at night. It's very simple. And having Internet security and encoding what you're doing, using Tor is just another level of that. I think it's a great idea. Andrew, thanks for the time.
Great. Thanks for having me. All right. Wow, that's a big dog in the whole uh, free movement on the Internet. Andrew Lumen, Executive Director of the Tour Project. I'm Alex Jones. Your calls are three minutes away. We're going right to you. We're on the march.